this lesson we're going to be learning Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner. Got a lot of requests for this one, so um, it's kind of simple and kind of not. The, the chord progression is really simple. It's D, C, and G, the entire song, um, but there's a lot of little riffs in there <clears throat> that make it a little more complex. But um, So we need to know a D, uh, a C more like, or C sus, you know, and then a G. So we're going to start on the D. You really don't even need your second finger. Um, <clears throat> but uh, first finger on the second fret, third finger on the third fret B string. And we're going to pick, start with the open D string, palm muted, two hits. And then we're going to hit the B string and then the G string. Then we're going to go to our C chord. We're just going to move our first finger up to the second fret of the D string and our third finger to the third fret of the A string. Leave our your third finger stays on the third fret of the B string the entire time of this of the chord part. Then we're gonna pick the A string palm muted, and then pick the B and G string again. Then we're gonna go to then we're just gonna move these two fingers up like we were playing a G. Pick the G string or the E string, and then hit the open G string. So we got. Now you can hit that whole chord if you want. Um, and then we have our first lick. So <clears throat> all these licks are based out of, uh, if you've gone over the lesson with the country scale. It's all based out of that. Um, or our, uh, our uh, G pentatonic major. Okay, so uh, the first lick, hammer on from uh, open A to second fret A. Then the same thing on the D string. And then we're going to pull off there. And then hit the second fret A string. Pull off and hammer back down. That's the first lick. Okay, then we're going to do the pick pattern again. The chords. Same thing. Now this time we have a different lick. And that is second fret G string. We're going to pull it off. And then we're going to pick this open G again. And do the same thing on the fourth fret. And then we go to the fifth fret. And we do a full bend. Sounds cool fast. Okay, then we go through our chord progression again. This looks a little different. It starts the same way as the first one. Instead of this time, we're going to come down to the G string and do a pull off from the second fret to the open string. It's the third leg. Um, time we just go that's just a hammer on from the open a to the second fret hit the d string open and the g string open now we're into the verse pretty much the same thing it does this little riff in there it alternates the first time it plays the riff and the third time it plays the riff, the second time, and the fourth time it uh, just hangs on the G chord. So I'm going to do open A, first fret A, second fret A, hammer ons, and I'm picking the open G string. Then 
I'm doing another hammer on from the open A to the second fret. <laughs> So the hammer on, that last hammer on kind of leads into the the palm muted, the first part of the chord. That. The second time just does one of those. Okay, then third time back to my leg now um on the first verse there is a little break after you do that four times so we go same chords but they're gonna come up here and they're gonna take advantage of using these inverted chords we've talked about where you're playing the root the uh, the bottom note is the third so this is a D triad right here we're gonna add our third finger there on the uh, ninth fret to put the third on the bottom they're gonna do a little walk up to that so eighth fret you're gonna bar the B G and D strings on the seventh fret and you're gonna hammer on from the eighth fret to the ninth fret on the A string. Then we're gonna pick the D string and twice with the, the G and B strings. And then back to the ninth fret of the A string. Same thing here, a whole step back on the C. This is C triad. time you're picking the D and G string back to the seventh fret okay so then we do hammer on second fret a string open D open G open G again and then we hit the third fret of the E string on our G. So. It does that twice. Okay, then we do another verse. Um, same as the first one, except for the last time. A riff going into the chorus and that's open A hammer on the second fret open D open G pull off from the second fret D string to the open and then hammer on A string to the second fret into the chorus same kind of thing now we got a little bit different rhythm here so we do our D or C now we're gonna do a G we're gonna hit it twice then we're gonna put our first finger on the second fret of the D string kind of creating like we were doing a shuffle um, so it's, um, the rhythm's weird. It, it skips like a little note in there. Like that. Hammer on second fret. 
hammer on the D string. Open, second fret, open. And then the third fret of the A string with a little bend. Okay. And then the uh, second time through the chorus is D. Instead of going to the G, we're going to do this riff. And that's just hammer on on the D string, open to hammer on the second fret, and then pick the G string below it. So we're going to do it four and a half times. And then you're going to slide from the third fret A string to the fifth fret A string. Then we're back to the chord. That's the same as the first time. Then the last round of the chorus. Kind of like we did in the verse. Or one of those. Um, actually, that's not right. Sorry. The last time. Does that. Bum, 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 on the G. And then we go F. C. And then back to the uh, riff. So the last part of the, the chorus. And then there's a little solo here. The rhythm is the same. Now we're in the verse again. Same thing. Go to a chorus, same thing. Um, Oh, in the second verse, there is a little hiccup thing on the first line. It does that F to C thing again there, right in the middle of the verse, or right at the beginning of the second verse, uh, where they do the oohs. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, okay, so we go into the chorus, we do a chorus again, and then it goes to a solo. The solo section, you can play like this. Like a um, like a blues shuffle, so I'm on the fifth fret of the A string playing my D power chord, alternating with this my pinky on the D string on the ninth fret. We do the same thing on C, and then we go up to G, like that. pretty much it it's those three chords the whole time you just got to take your time with the licks the little fills in between okay and then if you want to play along with the solo you know the song's basically in G so you're gonna to want to use G pentatonic major I really like to use that G country scale which is basically you take G and you go back to E to play your relative uh, pentatonic minor fingering, which is still pentatonic major. It's just the relative, because we're in G. And you play a blues scale there. So it'd be basically an E blues scale, but in the key of G, it's called the G country scale. So you can really do some cool, and it sounds very similar to what they're doing. And you can throw in some G pentatonic minor as well, too, you know. Uh... But but uh, that's that's the basic uh, gist of Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs>